I'll have to keep reading next. Properties of acids. So till last class, we discussed the classification of acids uh, based upon the hydrogen's availability and as well as uh, based upon the origin and as well as based on the amount of acid. That is what the concentration. Now, what we are going to study in our today's class is actually the most important one, even for board exam. That is what uh, physical and chemical properties. Of course, physical properties is nothing, but chemical properties is uh, very, very important. So each and every equation, whatever I will teach, you have to write and you have to practice it. <laughs> Good morning, Hasini. So now first, uh, of course, properties of acids. So if you take any kind of substance, we people basically having uh, two kinds of uh, properties. So that is only physical properties and the second one is called as chemical properties. So first let us see the physical properties or we will say general properties of acids. So how we can, what like, uh, what everybody can see is outside also, which is uh, <laughs> visible to everybody. That is what we used to say general or we can say physical properties of acids. Now, the first property of acids, let me try to get the properties from you actually. So that is what is needed for me. <laughs> so if you all observe very carefully, first of all, if acid is uh, dissolved in water, we used to call it as something. Anybody can tell me? Anything if it dissolved in water, we used to call something. What we used to call? <laughs> It is called an aqueous solution. Alcohol. Yeah, not alcohol. If anything dissolved in water, what was to call everybody? It is called as aqueous solution. Now, if you notice it here, acids, of course, forget about the types of acids like strong acids or weak acids. So if you notice the properties of acids, what is the first property here you have written? They are the good conductors of electricity. So we used to call them as good electrolyte. Is it right or wrong, everybody? All of you? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that is what. Now tell me, acids are soluble in water or not? Because they are forming the aqueous solution. So they are soluble in water or not? All of you? Yes, yes sir. That is what. So that is the first physical properties of acids. So we all know so already even in for chapter one, we studied that always acids will source the reaction. What state? Aqueous state or their pure state? Everybody. Aqueous state. Always in aqueous state only. So every acid will show its reaction only when it is in dissolved in water. That is why it is the first property of acids. Acids are highly soluble in water. Highly soluble in water. See, that is why I want to get it from you so that you people can remember more days. That is what. Next. So, because of soluble in, of course. So, they will dissolve. When you pass the electricity, they will form the ions or not? Everybody? Yes, please. They will form the ions. Yes. So, that is why. So, they are called as electrolytes or non-electrolytes. Acids are called as what? Electrolytes. Electro everybody? So, that is what, and these are called as, remember, these are soluble in water. So because of this, any substance, if it is soluble in water, all of you remember, we is to called as polar substance. Medakshri, are you clear? If any substance, if it is soluble in water, which we is to called as what substance? We is to called as? Polar substance. Okay. So that is why, as it acids are soluble in water, we used to call them as what? They are in polar in nature. Okay. So that is what you have to remember. Higher classes will get it polar and non polar substances. It is what even polar angle, non polar angle will get it in chemistry. So that is what you have to remember. First property. Mr. Guru, how are you? Are you okay now? Okay. So next, of course, all the acids we cannot taste it, but of course, the organic acids we can taste. So if you taste, what is the taste of the acids? Everybody? Yes, please. Sour in taste. Yeah. Sour in taste. So that is the physical property. So these are sour in taste. So 
What is the best example which we can taste the acid? Anybody? Okay, Guru. Thank you. Yeah. What is the so best lemon. example? Now it's the summer. We all people will have it also. Most probably. Yes, please. What is so that? Lemon orange. Very good. So lemon juice. So if you have noticed it, lemon juice is sore, sore in taste because what is the weight? I will ask. Mr. Kaushik, what is the what is the acid present in the lemon? I want to know from you. Even yesterday I have taught you. Mr. Johan, what is the acid present in the lemon? It is organic acid. Lemon juice is sore in taste due to the presence of what acid, guys? Mr. Kaushi, please leave from the meeting. Due to the presence Acetic. of what, guys? Acetic acid. Due to the Citric presence of acid, acid, guys. So, due to the presence of citric acid. That is why they are called as what? Citrus fruits. Orange. This are uh, even uh, uh, lemon. This all we used to call it as uh, citrus fruits because they contain citric acid. Yesterday I have listed out or not all the organic acid and the sources. Yes or no? Check it. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you, you also leave from the meeting. Nothing required for me. That is what. So organic acids, we can taste it. We will we'll feel that uh, they will be in sore in taste. So, But is it possible to test the mineral acids? Mineral acids we should not because they are highly corrosive in nature. Understand? So that is what we have to remember. So... When these acids are molten state or they are in aqueous solution, they are good conductors of electricity or bad conductors of electricity. Everybody, they are the good, con good conductors of electricity. That is what we have to take it only either it is in aqueous state, means they dissolved, they dissolved in water or they will be in molten state. What do you mean by molten state? I already taught you in chapter one. Anybody? Aqueous state. Melted. Yeah, molten state means like liquid state, aqueous solution and in molten state. So, when these acids are in molten state or when they are in aqueous state, means aqueous state means what? Everybody? What do you mean by aqueous state? Dissolved in? Dissolved in where? Water. Water. Then they are the very good conductors of electricity. Okay, next. So now, of course, you can take, if you pour the acid in uh, any kind of uh, like a cloth or if you pour it in a metal or if it uh, fall it in a skin. So you tell me, of course, not organic acids, like if you take mineral acids like sulfuric acid and all. So they will burn it or they will corrosive it. So that is why we can say these are highly corrosive in generally we can say. So acids are what? Acids are highly corrosive in nature highly corrosive in nature because they can burn the cloth is it yes or no guys all of you yes please yes yeah that is the reason so example example few drops few drops of hdso4 mr kaushik hdso4 means what is the name of the acid please let me know mr kaushik i am calling you H2SO4 means what is the name of the acid? Harini? Sulfuric acid. So if I put a few drops of H2SO4, if you take any kind of a cloth or you can take like a cotton towel, Okay, so what will happen? Immediately that it will start, uh, it will get burned. So because why? They are very, very corrosive in nature. So they will even me melt our skin, even uh, react with the metals highly. So they are highly corrosive in nature. They will spoil the metal and metals will lose its strength because of acids. So that is why have you noticed that acids we are not supposed to store in metal containers always acids they will store in which containers you might be seen our labs always they will store in glass containers i have noticed it because acids they won't react with the glass that is why they will always uh, store in the glass containers only so because they are very very highly corrosive in nature so next 
So these may be, they are even a solid state or in a liquid state, okay? So we can find it even as it's in a solid state. So these may be in solid state or maybe in, in liquid state. What is the purpose of attending this, Mr. Kaushik, Harini, Johan? Never open the mouth, never answers it. Okay. So that is what. Next, if you take these acids, they have high boiling points and as well as melting points. High melting and as well as boiling point. Can anybody know what do you mean by boiling and melting points? I, I think let me know. Anyone? Mr. Vijay? Yes, please. Mr. Harish? Sir. Yeah. Sir, specific point in which uh, acid starts melting. Sir. Yeah. That is called melting. Not only acid. So basically melting means a specific temperature where a solid will converting into what? Specific temperature liquid. where solid will converting into what state, guys? Liquid state. Liquid state. Same way boiling point means a specific temperature 7th, 6th class will study. Even ninth class also will get it. Specific temperature where liquid will convert into what state? Gases. Gases. Yes. If you want to convert the solid acid into liquid acid or liquid acid into gaseous acid. So it is uh, very, very more temperature is needed because they are having high, high melting points and boiling points. That is what you have to remember. Next. So we all know, yesterday I have taught you, if you want to dilute the acids, we need to add water to acid or acid to water. Everybody. Acid to water. Acid to water. Because of why? They are highly, what reactions? Hasani? Exothermic reactions. Highly exothermic reactions. That is what. So please rake it. So the dissolution of acids. The dissolution of acids in water is highly exothermic. So that is why always we have to add what guys? Water to acid or acid to water? All of you. Acid to water. We have to acid add to water. always acid to water. Otherwise, it will cause us to release huge amount of heat energy. May cause us to catch like blasting like things will happen all the vessels that the acid will splash us out splashing out means it will be fall on us also like it will be when you put the stone in the water forcefully how the water will fall on us the same way if i add water to acid because of highly exothermic reaction it may leads to even damage us that is why we should not add water to acid always we have to add what guys acid to what so these are the seven properties what properties they are actually they are the physical properties or we can say general properties of acids if anybody having anything doubt you can ask me or else you can not doubt. please make it quick mr Google, are you clear mr yes, okay sir. yeah so please proceed when i ask yes, question mr kaushik and uh, harini and all mouth won't work remaining time shouting nicely they'll show See, Mr. Kaushik Sanjay, he asked me three days leave because of some surgery or something, health problem. But today he is in class. Yesterday only he took leave. That is the dedication of the people. And you are there, simply sitting, never answer anything. Sulfuric acid, HDSO4 formula, you don't know, boy? Then why are you attending the classes? Mr. Yes, Harish, now onwards, people are not responding two, three times. Uh, you remember, Harish. We'll just throw throw us, throw us away from us. We don't want anybody. Right, first. So we'll start next. So physical properties completed, everybody. Mr. Vijay, Harish, Aras. Okay, yes, next. Sir. Now onwards, very, very important. Chemical properties of acids. So I'll start with the, for now. Chemical properties of acids. So the first properties is, is uh, very well known to you all people. That is what a very simple property. So that is only action on litmus. So can you tell me action on litmus? We are having a two litmus papers. What are the two types of litmus papers? Everybody we have? 
everybody? Yes, please. Blue litmus. Blue litmus. Understand? So, of course, red litmus is already red in color. So, red litmus shows no reaction with whom? No reaction with the acids. So, acids. That is the first chemical property. So, if I dip, sir, I want to identify either the given substance is acid or base. So, I dip the litmus solution or litmus paper. If the blue litmus will converting into red litmus, then the given solution is what? Mr. Johan, the given solution is, it is acid. Correct. Blue litmus paper turns into what, guys? Turns to red. red, red. Okay. So that is what we have to remember. It is indicating that it is the given solution is acid. That is the first chemical properties of acids. So right. The acid in aqueous solution, the acid in aqueous solution the acid in aqueous solution can change the blue litmus into red. Can change the blue litmus into red. Can change the blue litmus into red. Simply I can say litmus paper also I can call as pH paper. What we used to call everybody? pH paper or litmus paper. Both are same. Okay. So always... If it is a action with the litmus, always if it is acid, it will show what guys, everybody. Blue litmus will converting into, yes please, red, red litmus. <laughs> Understanding? And main thing. Here, very, very important thing for your whole 10th class you have to remember. For example, as we all know, acids only shows their reaction when they are in what state? Anybody? When they are in? Aqua state. Understand all of you? Means when they are in dissolved in water only, they will show this property because moisture is compulsory to show the reaction of acids or if you need to feel the uh, chemical property of uh, acids, they must be in aqua state. Now, I will take dry HCl gas. So, Dry HCl gas. Very, very important. HCl gas means, can you tell me what is the name of the HCl? It is a gas state, not dissolved. Anybody? Hydrogen chloride. Please remember, if it is a dry HCl, what is the name of it? Hydrogen chloride. If it is dissolved in water, what is the name of it? Hydro. So if you remember, dry HCl, you can see, Actually, it is a what state, actually? Dry HCl is a what state, everyone? Gaseous state. Yes. So, it cannot... Of course, it is acid, but it cannot change the color of the what? All of you. Color of litmus. Any litmus. Blue litmus or red litmus. Because why? Dry state cannot behave as an acid. Very, very important. Understand, Harisayaraj? Mr. Yoraj? Change the color of litmus. Because... Yes, because in dry state, dry state, again we'll get even activity also in this chapter. Dry state, it cannot behave, behave like a what guys? Everybody, behave as an acid. So that is why always you have to remember, if you want to see the acidic behavior, then it is impossible to see in the dry HCl. So, Ionization of HCl is not possible in dry state or gaseous state. That is the reason you can see the litmus, litmus paper cannot show any reaction. So if the litmus paper, blue litmus wants to turn into red, only ions should form. What ions should form? Methoxy? What ions should form? We all studied first class. H plus ions. H plus ions should form. Very good. That is why I will say always. So H plus ions will give. So only H plus ions will give when? Abirami, H plus ions will give only when they will dissolve in when? When they dissolve in the water. Or dry HCl gas contact with the moisture of litmus. Like if I take dry litmus paper, no reaction. 
For example, if I take wet litmus paper, then automatically it will turn into red color. Do you all understand what I am saying, everybody? All of you? Yes, yes. Of course, that activity also we can see. So, if you want to see the acid behavior, always we need what? Moisture or moisture means what? Water vapor or we need always water. Like acid must be dissolved in water. Is it okay, guys? Everybody? All of you? Yes, yes. sir. That is what you have to remember. Okay, write it. HCl gas, HCl gas, dry actually, HCl gas is not possible. Uh, that is what, like the ionization, the ionization, the ionization of HCl gas is not possible, is not possible, is not possible. So, so acidic behavior of an acid, acidic behavior of an acid cannot be seen. So if you want to see the acidic behavior, must be present water ions. Ionization should be takes place and it has to be released water ions, guys. Yes, please. Only presence of water ions. Mithak Sri told already. H yeah. plus ion. Presence of H plus ions. After ionization, only presence of H plus ions only. Acidic character will shown by the acids. Acidic behavior shown by the acids. So that is why we need moisture. That is what we have to remember. Okay. So moisture or water, it has to be added to the acid or the litmus paper must be with moisture. That is what moisture of litmus so that it will form the, it will react with that and it will form the H plus ions so that acidic, acidic behavior can be seen into the action. That is what we can uh, notice it. Of course, that activity also we have, we'll discuss it. So always remember, if you want to see the acidic behavior, they must have the moisture or they have to dissolve in the water. Is it okay, guys? Everybody clear? All of you understand? Mr. Arvignesh, Jivitesh, Omar, what happened? Are you, are you able to listen? Yes, sir. Yeah, very good. Yes, sir. So this is what. So this is the main thing. Next, physical properties I have taught you. Here, observe, they are highly corrosive in nature. So highly corrosive means only with the cloth or only metals also. They will react with the metals or not, acids. Everybody? Yes, yes. sir. So now, first chapter, I want to know, first chapter, last type of reaction. Anybody can tell what is the first, first chapter, last type of reaction? Mr. Pugal, Mr. Rohit, last type of reaction. Nimesh, are you there, Nimesh? I'm not at all hearing your voice. Yes, sir. Yeah. What is the last type of reaction in chapter one? Redox reaction. Very good. Redox reaction. So please mute yourself, somebody who is at redox reactions. Remember, Acids react with the metal and they will form always salt and hydrogen gas. So that is why this reaction is actually example of displacement reaction. So in this, we know displacement reaction. Anybody can tell me what is the displacement reaction? Chapter one, always more reactive metal will displace the water. Less reactive. Less more reactive element will displace the less reactive element. Is it right or wrong? Everybody? Yes or no? Yes? Yes, sir. So that is why reaction with the metals, we used to call, this is reaction, we used to say example of what reaction, everybody? Examples of types of chemical reaction, displacement reaction. Clear everyone? So in this reaction, the metal displaces the hydrogen gas from the acids when the acids must be in what solution? They are in a liquid state or gaseous state or are in the aqueous state? All of you. They must be in aqueous state. Okay. So that is what you have to remember. So acid, acid always reacts with the metal to form respect to salts and as well as what gas will come? All of you. Hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas. Okay. Very, very important. So, whenever the metal will react, always remember with acid, 
you have to remember that what gas will be produced there everybody hydrogen okay? that is what so the metal what we are going to make it it will react with the acid and it will displace the hydrogen gas from it that is why those metals who can only displace the hydrogen actually they are present above in metallicity series or below in metallicity series we all know metallicity series anybody any one of you can tell me metallicity series who can displace the hydrogen the metals which are present above or metals which are present below i want to know from you. metals present above only can displace it what is the statement you have to remember metallicity series please never never call, never call me Yes, yeah, some people uh, think disturbance. Google, check it yours only. Please means potassium. Please never call me a. Me means what? Everybody, call me a magnesium. Please, please never call me a. Call me a what? Zebra. Zebra. I I means iron. I like lead means PB. I like hydrogen. Call me mercury. Call me HG. Call me a silver AG. Call me a pretty girl. Even gold you can remove. Call me a girl. Girl means gold. What is the symbol of gold? A. Of course, you want you can write pretty platinum also. So this is a statement. Now you tell me who can displace the hydrogen? The elements who are present above, the elements that are present below. Everybody. Everybody. The elements which are present above can displace the hydrogen from its acids is it right or wrong guys all of you means still here am i correct please respond that is what yes, it is sir. so potassium sodium calcium magnesium and aluminium as well as zinc and iron and lead these are present above the hydrogen in a metal activity series so these things can displace the hydrogen from its acids because they are more reactive than hydrogen or less reactive than hydrogen everybody they are yeah. more reactive than hydrogen. Clear? So, this is metal activity series. Chapter 1, I have taught you or not? Everybody, please yes, never yes. call me a zebra. I like hydrogen. Call me a pretty girl. Platinum and girl AU. So, that is what you have to remember. So, as we know, metals displaces the hydrogen from acids when they are in what state? Everybody, when they are in aqueous solution only those metals can displace the hydrogen which are always present above the hydrogen or below the hydrogen everybody they are present above the hydrogen in what series which series it is called as metal activity series so these kind of reactions they are called as redox reactions all of you remember they are called as what reactions we used to call it as redox reactions and also they are exothermic reactions. So now anybody can tell me the reaction of metal with acid will come under three types of reactions. Any one of you? What is that? Reaction with the metals, it will come under three types of reactions. Chapter one, that is the most important thing we have to remember. So, every metal reacting with acid is an example of under three, three reactions. What is that, guys? Displacement <laughs> reaction, redox Red reaction, reaction, and as well as exothermic reaction. reaction. Please note it. Very, very important. Okay? So, make it everybody. So, in such reactions, very important. In such redox reactions, redox reactions, Exothermic means heat will release or heat will absorb. Wait, you all of you. Mr. Johan will say. Johan, heat will absorb in exothermic or heat will release in exothermic? Johan, I am calling Sir, you. Ah? Sir, heat will absorb. Heat will absorb. You get out from the class, man. You senseless boy. You are. Exothermic means what, guys? Heat will absorb or heat will release? Heat will, heat will release. Two words you cannot remember. Exothermic means heat will release. Endothermic means heat will absorb. So in such redox reactions, right, the metal get oxidized. 
the metal get oxidized mr pugal here i mentioned getting oxidized do you remember so from this reaction you can identify which is oxidizing which is reducing yes or no oxidation yes, so who will get oxidized everybody here all of you metal metal because metal. metal will donate the electrons so who will donate the electrons oxidation or reduction oxidation oxidation that is why metal will get oxidized understand with akshri the metal yes, gets oxidized and hydrogen get hydrogen will receive the electrons so what will happen it will get reduced or oxidized reduced reduced hydrogen ions gets reduced understand tejasvini clear ah so during this time only we are going to so get large time amount time of get large. large amount of heat is released so that is why they are called as what reactions we used to call harish yes please large amount of heat is released understand harish airas clear released in this reaction yes sir That's why they are called as what reactions we used to call we used to call them as exothermic reactions okay so that is what you have to remember next here have you remember in first chapter specifically we are using a catalyst what is the purpose of catalyst any one of you catalyst alter the rate of anyone yes please to alter the rate of reaction sir yeah to control the rate of reaction to control rate of reaction means if either, either the reaction is taking place faster or slower we can regulate the speed of the reaction that is what we can say rate of reaction speed of reaction r into n means again mr ashwin gokul will ask r into s r r into n means what is that r into n means what mr ashwin gokul reaction understand so that is what so speed of reaction will be controlled by catalyst if you want to reduce the speed or if you want to increase the speed now here we are not using any kind of catalyst but the speed of reaction depending upon the nature of the acids and as well as the metals either the metal is mineral mineral acid or the organic acid or the metal is more reactive metal or less reactive metal so depend upon the metal and as well as the acid type so they will react faster so who will react faster according to you mineral acids or organic acids anybody mineral mineral acids, acids. that is what you have to remember the speed of reaction depends on depends upon Are we all writing the notes, all of you? Nature of acids. See, today only these two properties we will study hardly. That's all. Nature of acids and the metals. Okay. So generally, who will react faster? Everybody. All of you. Mineral acids react faster than others. That is what you have to remember. Now. the more reactive metal the rate of reaction is faster or slower ramya the more reactive metal reaction rate is faster or slower everybody yes please faster sir faster that is what the statement you write it one statement the more reactive metal comma the more reactive metal comma the more reactive metal comma for reason assertion it is very very important that is why the more reactive metal comma the faster will be the rate of reaction the faster will be the rate of reaction the more reactive metal comma the faster will be the rate of reaction is it all clear everybody mr omar guru any doubt you can ask me now let me write the generalized equation this is the basic equation for metals reacting with acids nobody should fail to forget this one if you don't even examples no problem but this is the standardized equation for metals react with the acids or acids reacting with the metals metal plus reacting with acid always it will give you metal salt plus what gas it will produce us everybody it will produce a hydrogen gas so this is the standardized equation for reaction of acids with whom guys with the 
metals okay so write it and learn it and meeting is going to end join back then we'll 